Can openers are tricky. This kind that cut the lids. Here, I got one done. That cut the lids are uh, significantly better. Where's my camera? Focus. Are significantly easier to use if you find the right one. There are a lot that require you to grip something, which is no good. So I like this kind that doesn't require you to grip anything. Here we watch, let's watch it. See how, how when you turn it, there's a cam that moves it over here and it popped back uh, because there's no pressure holding anything. So, well, let's just show you how it works. There we go. We're making chili tonight, so lots of cans. So, yeah, you just set it on the top. Uh, didn't quite get it. There we go. Now, the reason I don't use an electric one is because this is an American kitchen and there's already far too many gadgets. So, I refuse to bring more gadgets myself. And then that one's through. So then to back it off, you just back it off. You turn it backwards a little bit. And it's got this, uh, it's got this uh, little uh, for grabbing lids. There you are. Uh, now this is an OXO. Every time I find a new can opener, you know, I'm always looking. Every time I find a new can opener that's going to be good, well, hopefully be good. You never know about their longevity. This one's been around for a while. Um, when I find one that I like, I immediately go online and try and find more to buy them, just to buy a bunch of them. So I don't have to start the search every few years. And, uh... They are almost always discontinued. It's mind-bogglingly frustrating. Frustrating. So, yep. If you find a good can opener, buy a bunch of them. Tell us about them all. Yeah. And to companies that make can openers, think about one-handed use. For real. Uh, it's... Very, can openers are very frustrating. You can do better. Alright. Like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Bye.